All right, this is how I'm gonna use this channel here. This is a good AFM lifter. As you can see, the spring is extended like it's supposed to be and it's not stuck. This is a failed one, as you can tell. What happens is the locking pins bind or break inside there, causing this AFM lifter to stick. When that happens, it makes it to where this lifter doesn't hold preload on the push rod and the valve doesn't open like it's supposed to and it causes a dead miss. This lifter is kind of oily and bad looking or dirty looking I guess but the roller is still good. It didn't chip or anything. Typically what happens is people drive it all the way to the shop after they collapse it causes this. It chips the roller it wears a groove and then it causes noise and a misfire most often too. So if you have a vehicle with a 5.3, any kind of LS vehicle with active fuel management, if you hear one collapse and you start having a dead miss with a check engine light or a flashing check engine light a lot of the time, if you stop and you have it towed in, most of the time you're all right. It just needs a lifter and an AFM manifold and you can put it back together. What I see happen a lot is people say, I took mine to a dealer, which I work for a dealer, and they have their car worked on and they charge them for a camshaft almost every time. But what happens is, is if you don't drive it when it collapses, most often your camshaft's in pretty good shape and you can just put AFM lifters in that bank with a new manifold and that fixes your problem. There's your little learning for today.